This is a show where we talk about soccer, but I have a more important question for you right now. How hot are you going to go on your Hattie B's hot chicken tomorrow night? Well, I'm not going to shut the cluck up. I will tell you that much. <laughs> that fucked us up big time last time. And I like hot food. I like very hot food. But indeed, that was painful. And, and I don't even think we went to shut the cluck up. We did one step below that. We did, but I think they gave us shut yeah, the cluck Yeah, yeah. I, I, I do kind of think maybe they were. Because we've had their other tiers, and it's not like that. So, yeah, um, yeah I, I, we went twice last time we were in Nashville. The first time we got hot, and I think it was fairly normal. The second time we decided to go up a tier but I think they went up to the top tier, which is shut the cluck up. And I had snot and tears and you kept going up and getting water and napkins. The staff was laughing at us. Oh, when, when I ordered it, the guy went, it's a bold choice. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> Oh God, what, what have I done? I didn't, I didn't want to give in and say that like ask for milk, but yeah, I couldn't touch anything. So I had to keep getting more napkins. So I would like have a barrier to everything I was touching. Yeah, it was. I described it once as we look like a gay couple breaking up <laughs> with all the tears, and we were off to the side in the corner. But it was just, it was terrible. It was, but it was awesome. Um, I did eat it later that night, like two in the morning did. or something. Uh, After we it went wasn't to nearly the nearly as bad. Everything, bar. everything. <laughs> it was, it was much, it was much tamer then. So I think some of it must burn off or something. The first, the first bite I took of it. Before I could take a bite, I inhaled some of it, and it was so strong that it took my breath away, and I started coughing. <laughs> yeah. Probably should have been a warning sign. And you're not going to get sides, are you? Because you don't believe in sides or salads or creamy sauces. I or like anything. biscuits and cornbread. These are my sides that I like. Okay. Do they have those? I can't remember if they have those. I think maybe cornbread. Okay. I don't but remember. I don't, I don't remember anymore. We will find out. So, Hattie B's, we will be in you tomorrow. And... I mean, obviously, I may have some other hot chicken too. If obviously everyone watches the show, we know this. We assume somebody from Hattie B's watches the show. So if you are from Hattie B's or you know somebody at Hattie B's, we love you. We like to talk about you on here. We're hoping we're driving sales for you. We wouldn't <laughs> mind getting free chicken tomorrow. That's all I'm saying. That would be the best, uh, best promotion we'd ever have. They, oh, it'd be the, the only promotion we've ever had, but uh, that would that would be the best to me. Period. The uh, that's what we're aiming for. If you don't listen to it, the uh, Ars blog Ars Cast is excellent. The the one guy on there, James McNicholas, who writes for his own site Gunner Blog, and uh, is on the Ars Cast, had never had jam before or jelly or whatever they call it. Jack, tell us what they call it in England. I don't remember which one it is, um, but he had never had it before. And Andrew, the guy in Dublin who, who runs um, Ars Blog and, and runs the Ars Cast, thought this was strange. And so they both ended up getting like cases of jelly or jam or whatever <laughs> sent to them after this episode. So if that could happen with the hot chicken, I'm just saying it would be, it would be desirable. It would be welcome. It would not be unappreciated. Uh, so we leave tomorrow. Uh, we arrive tomorrow if everything happens. Otherwise, Maybe we're dead or something, but I fly at about seven fifteen tomorrow morning. So countdown be, is on. You will beat me down there. I am driving, but um, so we'll get down there, lay the land. Hattie B's probably the American Outlaws party tomorrow night. Um, Saturday, uh, tailgate. We'll be posting stuff on the social media. There's a game. Um, there's a game that will not include Kenny Sayaf. Will not include. Yeah, Kenny. no more Kenny Sayaf. Uh, it, we it's hardly knew you. <laughs> it's simultaneously disappointing and simultaneously like very American. It seems that uh, at least maybe of late, where uh, oh we got somebody in camp. My eyes injured. Yeah, it was the guy too that most of us were like, oh yeah, we're excited to see what he can do. Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess we saw what he could do for ten minutes the other night because he's now out. Chris Pontius is in. I'm, so I am curious. Can he be swapped back in, say, like in the later rounds? Then, if you know, if he should get better, I mean, I think it's a, it's a hamstring injury, isn't it? 
Uh, Douglas says groin. I think that okay sounds right. Um, uh, I remember reading it, but I can't remember what I've read now. I've had too many things going on the last couple of days. But um, uh, yeah, it, to me, well, I guess a, a groin strain or something it would be kind of the same way, where it's probably several weeks. I doubt he's going to make it into um, back into the tournament. But I, I, I was curious. And I did mean to look it up, but I, I just didn't have time today. Uh, can you say you get swapped out now? You know, twenty four more than twenty four hours before your first game when they still allow it, would you, since you're still part of the 40, well, are you still part of the 40 man roster then or does it become a 39 man roster? I don't know. I don't know. He hasn't played. He played in the friendly. So I, it, it would make sense to me that we could bring him back, but we're not going to bring him back. Still need the time to heal. But, I, yeah, I assume, but yeah, I think I, he's done. I would guess that you could, maybe somebody out there knows the answer to this, but I would guess that you could maybe if, um, if he had played in Nashville, and then, or if even if the Nashville game had happened and he was on the roster, maybe you would not be able to then. But I don't see why that would be a problem now. So, um, so yeah, we hardly knew ye, Kenny Syaf. I hope we see you in the future. Um, but we're going to have to wait to figure out, you know, how good you are and everything. Uh, guys, I think we'll have uh, good games. Obviously, uh, I think Dom Dwyer starts up top again. I think it's probably a very similar lineup to what, Bruce went with the other night, um, Saturday, or whenever the game was, um, when we last spoke to you. Uh, sorry we didn't do a show on Tuesday, by the way, but we figured it's the 4th of July. You guys are watching fireworks. I figured you guys were out celebrating freedom explosively. Yeah. Um, Dynamically. And Christian and some other guys are talking about the rankings. We, we should talk about that in a minute, because we dropped down to 35th, which is just, after not losing... Um, because some other teams played more matches or whatever. So it's, it's it, the FIFA rankings are stupid and I don't put too much stock in them, but unfortunately they do come into play with, with seeding um, to the extent that, you know, the Luis Figo isn't pulling out the warm ball as Jimmy Conrad has pointed out. So um, yeah, we'll do the score and the goal scores against Panama. I, I, it's a lot of pressure here. I'm riding a one match perfection streak with the score and the goal scores. I don't know that I can do it again, but we'll do that later. I am but undefeated in one match. I am undefeated so far with the stars and stripes Jersey. So that's the way I'm looking at it. FIFA is of course rigged. You are right. Sticky player. Um, yeah. I mean, that's exactly it. Yeah. I, the, the, um, the rankings, whatever we weren't fourth when we made it up to that. I don't think we're actually 35th. Uh, you know, I, I would say probably somewhere twenty-ish, maybe. We're solid eighteenth. Um, is <laughs> yeah. is is probably fair to us. Um, there are an awful lot of teams in Europe uh, that would still regularly beat us. Um, it, most, uh, you know, a, a large chunk of South America, I think, would um, would be fairly well over our heads. So, I think that probably covers about fifteen right there. Um, you know, maybe even 18. Then you get a couple spots for, you know, other teams that come in and out. Uh, we can't beat Mexico consistently. Yeah. So, and when you, when you look at it in the last calendar year, um, we haven't beaten Mexico. So, uh, I, I would say they probably rank above us. Alex um, says, uh, U S is 20th, Mexico 16th. I, I think that's fair. U S 20th, Mexico 16th. That seems about right. Um, I would say, you know, we're somewhere like 18 to 22 pretty consistently. Yeah. 35, um, no way. But whatever. But yeah, you know, those, those go on win the tournament list. next we month. All, we we, might, be, we yeah. might jump, you know, 15 spots next month if we win this tournament. So um, I'm feeling, you know, like we might. I, I uh, the last tournament around made you realize, made me realize that, uh, we're not obviously guaranteed to win anything. We could lose to Jamaica, um, but yeah, it's sorry, Simon. Yeah, <laughs> not, not to uh, to trash the, Jamaica. No, I mean Jamaica had a nice team then, but uh, yeah, anything could happen. J Simon's warning us about Guadeloupe or Mar Martinique. Martinique is the team we play in the second. I couldn't remember which French overseas department or territory or whatever. Martinique. I don't know if they have. 
I don't remember if they have department status or whatever within the French government, but they're French. So we're playing Martinique. Uh, Martinique in the second game. Um, but uh, Panama on Saturday, I ex- I'm saying 2 nothing. Both goals scored by Dom Dwyer, but one of them is a penalty. There You're going very specific with your prediction here. Because when you get uh, specific predictions right, people think you're a genius. What happens when you get specific predictions wrong? They know we're idiots anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, There's only enough, upside fair here. Enough, fair enough. I have the fair Biff enough. Tannen Sports Almanac right here, and it says 2 nothing. both goals by Dom Dwyer, but one is a penalty. What do you got? I think we'll probably see. I, I'm actually thinking two nothing is probably uh, about right. Uh, I'm thinking Dwyer and Acosta again. Uh, it while while it does seem strange to see the same two players score uh, in consecutive games. I mean, I, I don't even. I can't even think of too many times we uh, of a single time we would have seen Donovan and like Dempsey both score in, in you know like both score in, in a game two times in a row. Um, <laughs> But uh, I, I'm going to go for it. Uh, I think they're both playing. Uh, I, I think they both got a lot of confidence coming out of that game. Um, they're both playing well. And hey, what the hell? It's, uh, you know, I was, I was DVRing because I always like to DVR um, the matches, especially because one, because when you're there and you're drinking and you're sitting in the American Outlaw section, there's stuff you just don't see. Yeah. Uh, and two, um, because we usually get on TV at some point. So. Um, there like is to, that. I'd like to look and see how dumb we look on TV. Uh, but I was looking for the, so I was looking for the match and I'm like, I go to FS one and I'm like, it's not here. And I'm cursing Fox because I'm assuming they moved it to FS two. No, this thing is on big Fox. Wow. Yeah. What about that gold cup on big Fox. So, um, so trying some things out in advance of Jan world cup. I do DVR games only that I attend. Because then I want to actually go back and rewatch it and see what it looked like on TV. Um, I don't DVR games that I, I otherwise I don't try to watch. You can't watch sports not in real time. It doesn't work. I tried it once. It didn't it, it, with a Bears game back when they were good. Ten. Yeah, years the ago problem is when when I know the score, I just fast forward until I see. I fast forward through just playing back and forth or something until I, I get to whatever I wanted to see. Um, so yeah, uh, what were we getting to? Well, I think both oh, goals be from open play. Uh, open and I play. don't, okay. I, I think, I think this, uh, I think this time Dwyer will score from kind of an actual goal and that's just sort of a fluke. That's part of the reason I believe he's going to score. I think he has one coming and, um, and I just kind of feel like this is the, now's the time that we're suddenly going to see a, um, at least a, a public idea or a public uh, run on, oh, who's going to be starting? Is he, should he replace Josie? Like, he's not going to replace Josie yet, but. Um, no, he's, uh, but it, it's not out of the question either. It's yeah. not like, it's, it's not like it's insane to ask that, but I, I think he's got to do a little bit more here. Um, if, if we see a roster that has I mean, more than just say two goals in two games. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if, if, if we see a roster that has both of them on it um, and maybe Josie starts and doesn't score and Dwyer comes on and does uh, maybe we start talking about that a little bit more. I, I find him more fun to watch than Josie. I'll tell you that he, he, he was moving like hell the other night. So um, really enjoyed it. People are talking about ESPN and, and Fox. You know, only one has drone racing. That was, you know, we didn't, we may not have gotten post or pregame the other day, but we did get taped drone racing. So how about that? Yeah. I mean, if you want to watch dudes that look like, like basically our age sitting around with a joystick, more power to you, but uh, they're trash talking each other. It's probably better than this show still, but I kind of laughed that their, uh, their controllers have, uh, like lanyards to hold them around their neck. Yeah, I'm sure it's because when you're wearing the headgear, how can you look down and find it? You got to take it off, and it's a whole big deal. But it was still kind of funny to see that 
Yeah, they in, have in, to have straps to hold their <laughs> controllers. In ten years, it might be drawn fan TV. I mean, that may be where we this this whole thing might tank. We might like miss the next couple. This is of gonna weeks. die. We're going straight to drones. We're gonna stay with Call whatever's hot. And and right now, it's like becoming a you know a U.S. soccer fan in like nineteen ninety. If you're getting in on the drone bandwagon right now, you're getting in on the bottom level of drones. The drone only flies up from here. I was in long before nineteen ninety. Um, well, probably probably about. Eighty-two, three, somewhere in there. Uh... That's only when St. Louis and New Jersey cared about soccer. That's why. Um, That's a little bit true. Yeah, Kenny Saf, if you're joining us, is injured. That is sad. We were hoping to see more of just a few minutes of him, but uh, all we're going to get right now is a few minutes in a in a friendly. So, um, at least he got to wear that cool jersey, huh? Um, but I would I would expect, you know, Champions League level player will probably be on the um, September roster. By the way, we've known it for months, but the game is actually going to be at Red Bull Arena in Harrison, New Jersey, the um, September 1st or whatever it is game. I think it's the 1st, so, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah nice, of, nice of U.S. soccer to say something after uh, first announcing it to the media, then not confirming it, then uh, then letting Costa Rica come out and confirm it like two weeks ago or something – Finally going, oh, well, I guess. Uh, what are our thoughts on Pontius coming in? People want to know. I was curious why he was next up. Um, I mean, I guess you could look at the roster and say, who else is going to get a shot right now? Because I, I don't see Bruce making a change for one of the guys who are going to come in in the later rounds. But to me, Pontius is in that list of guys who – He's shown some promise in MLS, but I, I just don't think he's going to make it at the international level. Well, I, 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 actually, maybe that's not even fair to say. I just think that there are too many guys in front of him to make it for the U.S. at the international level. Right. Eh, it's fine. He's a fine player, but so uh, to me, about it or anything. yeah, to me, he's he's making the roster. Will he play? I doubt it. I mean, maybe uh, against Martinique or somebody, but. I would not doubt there would be a lot of um, rotation for those second and third matches, assuming we get the job done against Panama. If not, maybe not. But um, are we going to be at the game at Red Bull? Uh, you were looking at it. I don't know. We might. We went. To the I am considering it. It is. We, I, I had actually a whole plan for it, but. Because of when school starts, I may not be able to uh, because of my kids. But that is the problem when you're a dad. But yeah. uh, and I don't yeah, remember we, if I have uh, have my kids that weekend or if they're with their mom. I don't. I don't remember. It. Uh, so we did go the last time they were there. I, I was surprised. It was. It was great, by the way. Um, except for the area around the stadium. But we talked about that. I think last show. I was surprised to learn that this is the first uh, non-friendly in the New York City area for this team. Hmm. Everything else oh. has been a friendly, so. Um, well, no, uh, the wasn't the Gold Cup final there. Um, the one uh, in 2011 or whatever it was, where uh, where That's Mexico true. won five nothing because we it, it, 2009, I guess was it because because we were at. Uh, um, it was there. We were wasn't at the it? the Confederations Cup. That when when right. Mexico ran like oh yeah all the fans ran their mouths like oh we destroyed you because we're so much better it's like you brought everybody. We brought Stuart Holden and no one else. It, um, people, guys were tweeting, I think. That was a giant stadium, I think. I don't want to give blame to anyone, so I won't say who was. But somebody was tweeting that quite a bit. I think it might have been Grant Wall. Um, so hmm. sorry, Grant, if it wasn't you, but somebody was tweeting that. But yeah, I think maybe he worded it differently. I can't remember what the, what the, um, language was on it but I, I thought he said it was the uh the first time they played a, a competitive match there not a friendly maybe match. world cup qualifier i don't know maybe um i'd have to think about that but alex lives in chicago nice oh did it... he took that away though i <laughs> live near chicago he knows live... alex no longer lives in chicago you live north of chicago um Yeah. So, Does any, anybody else going to the game on Saturday? Yeah, if you're going to the game, uh, you should come find us and say hi. We're in probably at least I will be dressed like an idiot, probably. 
You usually I are, but that's... a couple different ideas of what I'm going to wear. Uh, I, I'm not entirely sure how, uh, if, I, if I might wear the game jersey or if I will um, go with some variation of a flag on me. Yeah, so find us. We're in the one of the AO sections. 130 is in my head, but that might be wrong. So um, we'll figure that out. But uh, let's talk about Kellen Acosta. People want to get to the, the little title yeah. put on the show. Uh, I'm listening to uh, the podcast today that, that uh, Men and Blazers did with him. Raj Bennett interviewed him. Um, first of all, just a super intelligent, classy 21-year-old. We've got another, you know, what's it say about soccer players, really? That you know, compare <laughs> compare soccer players to other sports. Like, look at Pulisic at eighteen or Acosta at twenty-one, and their media savvy and skills versus, you know, pick anybody in basically most other sports. So, um, yeah, it, he seems like a great kid, and I feel like an old man for calling him a kid. And but I do think, yeah, he's if if Pulisic is our Michael Jordan, Callan Acosta has a very good chance of being the Scotty Pippen. Uh, just, I love his game. Um, he's all over the place, box to box, works hard on defense, has great vision, has a incredible foot with the free kick. Um, you know, he's fast. Yeah. He's I mean, incredibly fast. He's smart. He's yeah. I mean, what more do you want? I think he has the chance to be, um, I know he's been with, with Dallas for a very long time since he grew up in that area, but I think he has a chance to be in Europe very soon, and I, I hope that he is. Um, yeah, I mean, I would think if, if he has a really good tournament, I would think he's probably – MLS is going to have somebody sniffing around because um, he's had a big – he's had a big, like, last six months, maybe even going up kind of on a year, of he's really looked like maybe he could be the next big thing, and he seems to be – lining up or, you know, confirming that he is in fact the next big thing. I mean, anytime you're replacing, and I think this is probably um, securing that replacement, you're replacing Jermaine Jones. I mean, you're replacing a big time player uh, for a number of years in the U S lineup. And yeah, if you're, if you're a U.S. international, the chances that you're not going to get offers to play overseas are, are fairly slim. Yeah, by the way, I'm not saying that this is to Christian. I'm not saying that that Christian Pulisic is on par with what Michael Jordan did in basketball. Christian <laughs> Pulisic will never be the best player in the world, let alone the best player of all time. I'm just saying for the U.S., if Christian's our best player, Kellen could be our number two, and they could both be be stars in their own right. Neither one is going to be doing what, what Michael Jordan did, and I don't want to put that kind of pressure on him. So... Um, just talking about a, a one and two thing, a, a superstar duo rocking our spine of our team would be cool. Our Jagger and Richards. Ricardo says Mexico has better our... players, of course. Um, <laughs> got some very nice players in Mexico. That's that is true. But uh, I don't know that I don't want to make this show about Christian Pulisic, but I don't know that either team has anybody better at 18 than Christian Pulisic. So, um, and Kellen Acosta. Yeah. It, it's, you got to love what Dallas does from a developmental standpoint. They can never seem to get the job done come MLS playoff time. Um, but they're a really well run organization and it seems like a great place if you're a young American to be, but Kellen is good enough that I hope we see him not just in Europe, but not at like you know some Belgian team or something. I hope we see him at a very good team in Europe. I think he has a chance to be. So um, after the next World Cup, Germany. Austin. Yeah, after the next World Cup, I think that's a good call, Austin. Yeah, Germany. Yes, Germany is where I like our players to be. They they play younger guys. You know, it, England has a problem where a lot of the guys that just won their youth World Cup. There's played some minimal amount of minutes in the Premier League because Premier League teams don't play youth players like, like the German teams do. Um, the German teams know how to how to work them in and, and use them right. So, um, yes, uh, Costa at a mid label, mid label, uh, mid table Bundesliga team. Yeah, that sounds right. Now that would be nice to see. I mean, uh, yeah, as long as he's going to get consistent play, yes, I'd love to see him playing at a higher level. Now, I I, I would tend to agree that uh, yeah, for the next year. Yeah, maybe you try and stay home uh, because if nothing else, 
your assured playing time. Uh, it's working for you so far. You want to stay on top of your game ahead of next summer's World Cup. But if the right offer comes in, if you have some security that you're going to be starting or truly challenging for a starting position, yeah, I can't disagree with it. No, it'd be time I mean, to I, jump then. It's kind of like Danny Williams getting the offer from Huddersfield finally. The one that you know we talked about a few weeks ago. It, everything looked like it was going to happen. Um, it, it has. So realistically, I mean, based on kind of starting 11, uh, at least as, as what they had a month ago, um, you know, he's not necessarily making a giant leap of um, in terms of a team placement, but he is making a big leap in terms of competition. Zach which should be big be. for his, his ability to, um, to get back into the U.S. roster. And I have to think, if he's playing consistently, if he's starting in, in uh, the Premier League, why isn't he getting called up? Well, yeah. Yes, Zach, we will be in Nashville. Um, we will be there tomorrow. So come find us. On the morrow. Yes. I think we'll be, this may be wrong, but I think we'll be in Section 130. I don't have the tickets in this room. Otherwise, I would get up and go get them. But they're in the upstairs of my house right now. And as long as you're not that. halfway to the game, when you realize you don't have them, all is they good. They are in my suitcase. So we are good. Um, but yeah, so find us if you're there. Um, if you're not there and you're looking for more incredible U.S. content reaction. Look somewhere else, but there will be mediocre <laughs> at best. Uh, post game reaction, yeah, on our channel at Here's some point because it may depend on reception as to how quickly after the game we can do it. If you've tried to do a YouTube show from a stadium, which I'm sure you all have, you know that the cell signal is kind of shitty. You can hardly even tend to se send a text sometimes, and uh, you know, it does, just doesn't work. If you saw me uh, at Dick's Sporting Good Parks, in uh, Nashville or in uh, Denver. I can't even speak tonight for some reason. Um, I'm tired and I need chicken. I need the hot chicken. Um, if you saw me there, it was bad. And not just me bad, but it was like the signal was bad. So, uh, but so tomorrow, Saturday, Saturday, uh, after the match, we're going to see what kind of cell signal there is. And if it sucks, we're going to book it back to our Airbnb, which is a very short walk. It is 0 0.9 miles from Nissan Stadium. So, and then we're going to, we'll have it all set up and we'll, we'll go up to this, where, whatever you rented us, condo, I don't know. Condo. And, and uh, we will do the show. So it might be like, it'll be within a half hour probably of leaving probably, the match. Yeah. So we'll, we'll put hour, it on the Twitter. Minutes, something like that. We'll yeah. tell you, we'll tell you. We'll try to do it right away, but maybe it won't be right away. We don't we'll know. do the Twitter in and let you know. What's left, guys? Have we covered it? I think we might have covered it's it. It's about all I've got tonight. Yeah. I didn't even have a chance to set up until probably my house sells. I don't know if I'm going to get a chance to uh, set up a good background. Ooh, is, is there like a bowl of fruit? Is it all staged? Uh, it's not quite staged. That that will kind of be happening uh, uh, while I'm gone. But it was. Um, I had. I spent all. I spent from about five thirty this morning until now uh cleaning so yes alex that is why you do not park at crew stadium or mapry stadium we walk we get dropped off somewhere a mile away and we walk because you can't get out of that parking lot we will not be driving to the New. stadium we will be walking over there since we're staying so close so it's also convenient it. yeah you park nearby you go to a bar or something and either walk with like other people if you're in American Outlaws, you can march with them. Or there's that bridge. There's that cool bridge there, that goes yes, from the there is that the, cool bridge. The the honky tonk area to the uh, other side of the Cumberland River where the Titan Stadium is. So yeah. Uh, so yeah, I think we've covered it. Yeah, we're, we're going to be in Nashville tomorrow. Maybe we'll do a show from a bar tomorrow night. I don't know. But uh, I think that might be a mistake, but <coughs> yeah, probably a mistake. But uh, this is US Fan TV. The website is usfantv.com. We have Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and we're going to be putting lots of stuff on those three things this weekend. So you should follow them all. Uh, we 
do not like Snapchat and we will not like Snapchat and we hate Snapchat. So don't expect anything there. Fuck uh, Snapchat. Uh, we. What do I say here? Oh, we thank you for like sharing our stuff and spreading it around and telling your friends. <clears throat> Man, my voice is going out. You may have to finish this. We have YouTube, but you know that because you're watching this. Subscribe if you haven't. Tell your friends. Chris, do you have any final words? We have the Instagrams, too. Be sure. Did I not say the Instagrams? I don't think you said the Instagrams, so be sure to follow us there. Check out the ridiculous photos we posted, like our 4th of July pictures. Um, you might enjoy those. And on that note, you're done. Y'all are done. Ricardo, yes, it's true. It's growing. My son organized a giant pickup soccer game while waiting for 4th of July fireworks two days ago. So it's happening here. Not like other countries, but it is happening a little bit more. And with that, you are done.